This tutorial will show you how to create a focused review in ATI for your ATI remediation and how to download a report for confirmation of your practice review time for submission to Blackboard. ATI recommends the use of Firefox web browser when visiting their website. So the first thing you'll need to do is open up Firefox and you're going to come up here to the search bar and type student.atitesting.com That'll bring you here to the ATI sign-on page. From here, you will log into ATI using your username and password. That will bring you here to the student home page of ATI. Next, we're going to navigate over to the My Results tab and click on that. Within the My Results page, we will navigate down to Practice Assessments and select the assessment that you want to create the focus review for. This will bring you to the Individual Performance Profile page. And you have two options for creating or completing your ATI remediation. You can either do it offline or you can do it online. If you're completing your remediation offline, simply click on this download report button to save your report to your computer and then you can complete your review offline using your ATI textbooks. To complete your remediation online, navigate over here to where it says focused review and locate this green box. The green box will be titled with the word begin or continue. Because I have already created a focused review previously, my box says continue. But if you have not previously created your focused review, this box will say begin. In either event, you simply click on the green box. Now this will bring you to the focus review page with the content areas preloaded for review based on your practice assessment results. ATI will automatically begin to record your time spent in the focused review as shown here with this running timer. Within the table of contents you will see content areas with a minus or plus sign. If there is a minus sign, <clears throat> there are no content areas that require your review. Click on a plus sign to reveal the content areas for you to review subject matter. Here you will see the options available for review and the only areas with subject matter content are entries that have a chapter referenced. So if you notice here, we'll come down to RN Fundamentals 8, Chapter 47. That's the content area <clears throat> that we will need to review for that chapter. And please note that there's a PDF icon next to the areas for you to review. So we will next click on this content, and this will load the corresponding pages from the ATI book. So the content that loads here is simply an e-version of the hard copy book. So as you are reviewing, be sure to identify at least three things you have learned and either write them down or cut and paste the content from this PDF here to a Word document. Continue to review each content area with subject matter shown in the table of contents until you have reviewed each area or until you have met the minimum required remediation time as specified by your instructor. So once you have completed your review or met the time requirement, you can download a record of your practice time for submission to Blackboard. To do that, we're going to click on the Close button. This will take us back to our individual performance profile page for this assessment. Next, we'll click on the Download Report button. A pop-up box will appear. We're going to click on Save File, if it's not already default to that, and you're going to click on the OK button. Now this will automatically download the report to your Downloads folder or to whatever folder you have specified as your default for items downloaded from the Internet. Navigate up here to this down arrow and you will see your report is here. From here, you will click on the report, and that will open up the report so now you can save it to your computer and rename it. We're going to come up to File and click on that. We're going to click on Save As, 
and then select the folder that you want to save your file to. I like to save mine in my ATI folder. And up here I tend to name my report so it's easily identifiable for the instructor when I upload it to Blackboard. So for me I like to type my first initial last name and then I type the name of the report that I'm submitting. And then you click Save. So you are now ready to submit your focus review time confirmation to your instructor, either in person by printing the report or by submitting it via Blackboard. For a tutorial on how to submit a report to Blackboard, please refer to the separate tutorials available for that topic.